What's going on guys? Matt here with a pretty interesting uh, video for you today. Today we are going to make my Challenger Scat Pack sound like a classic car. Wait, what? Uh, how do you do that? What do you mean? That's really unspecific, Matt. Well, here's my method to my madness. This right here is what I am talking about. <laughs> this may seem kind of silly to some of you, but believe it or not, I've kind of always wanted to have an old car horn in the Challenger if I could find one. But the problem is, you know, old car horns, you know, are, are hit and miss. I'm not an electrical uh, expert. Some of them are really, really expensive off of uh, eBay. I'm not talking uh, about one of those Auga horns, just like a low pitched horn that I think it sound really cool. I've always heard of this horn right here. This is called the PIAA Superior Bass Horn, and it says right there, deep bass tone. And then all the rest of it's in Japanese because all their products are made in Japan. And uh, yeah, so I can't read any of that, but here's a little story for you guys. Those of you who have been, uh, are familiar with my videos and been subscribed to me for a long time know that the first two videos I made on this channel were of my first car, a 2006 Chrysler PT Cruiser. I actually never made a video of it, but I had a PIAA horn in that car. It was not this horn, it was the uh, 400 hertz and 500 hertz uh, dual horn. This right here is a 330 hertz plus the 400 hertz. So one of the pitches is the same as the horn I had in that car. Uh, the reason I put one of those in that car is because it had a really crappy sounding uh, single horn uh, prior and this was a lot louder and sounded much, much better. So here are the horns right there. I, uh, I just took them out of the packaging. You can see uh, the 330 hertz is a little bit larger than the 400 hertz. A um, little bit different in uh, diameter too, it's kind of hard to tell. But uh, you can kind of see it from this angle. But anyway, I've been really, really uh, pleased with their products in the past. I know a lot of people are familiar with their lights. If any of you own Jeep Wranglers, these uh, this company makes really popular uh, aftermarket lights to put on Jeep Wranglers. Now let's go out to the car and I'll show you how exactly we're going to do this. There she be. Okay, so basically this is going to be really easy to do because the horns, I actually checked this the other day, are located right underneath the front of this plastic here. All you do is lift these out, which I'm going to do right now. They're literally held in by a couple of clips. There's like one here, there, and there. And then these two little tabs that go into the side here. And it's the same way on this side. Um, and basically all you kind of do is really pull this out like that and boom there's the first horn so like I said this kind of just comes out without really too much hassle I can pretty much do it one-handed side from this part there we go and we're just gonna put this down here because it'll be okay and then this one comes out pretty much the same way move the, the uh, hood clip out of the way I need two hands to do this Okay, so fast forward a day. <laughs> Last night involved uh, two trips to Lowe's and I ran out of daylight by the time I was back from the second trip. It was totally dark out. So yeah, it didn't really go as planned. But if you look right here, I got the old horns out. Um, these are FEM horns. Uh, they are made in the US. Not calling them crap or anything like that. I'm just showing you which, uh, you know, what they look like. So, that's them. I guess they're FEM Freeway Blasters, I think is what they're called. Um, at least I've seen them advertised online. I just assume they'd be Mopar or something like that, but they're FEM horns. And as you can see, I've got the PIAA horns uh, already connected, and I did verify that they do, in fact, work. Um, I'll sound them off for you at the end of the video, and uh, they sound really good. But um, 
So basically, I'm running into a little bit of a challenge here. I had to go today, actually. Well, last night I meant I had to make two trips because I, uh, when you live in an apartment complex and you have a really, really limited selection of tools, eh, it involved uh, a tool run. So I had to, first I got SAE um, wrenches and then I had to go back and get metric because of course these weren't SAE like I thought they were. Uh, so this is a 10 millimeter. That's what I needed to get the, uh, the nuts off that held in the horns off of these bra mounting brackets here. And uh, today I had to buy some more hardware because the way these horns mount is different from these. These have these uh, screws on the back that went underneath that and then the nut held it, uh, screwed on and uh, held it in place. With these uh, PIAA horns, it's probably very hard to see, but you can see this, uh, probably, like I said, really hard to see, but that they have those mounting stems right there that you cannot remove and mount like the old horns. Um, you gotta mount them like that. So I gotta play around with them in here to make sure they fit okay because that makes them take up more space and they're also a little bit fatter of horns than these are. So I'll be back and I'll show you how I mounted these things. All right, I know it's dark, but one last listen to the stock horn. All right guys, installation is complete. So what I did is I ended up uh, like plan just using the mounting brackets that were already in the car because that's what made sense to me. And I just had to play around with where the horns were going to aim. Now it's kind of hard to see underneath, but Course you can't really, there we go there's the bell of the one horn where it's kind of pointed out uh, at an angle there and uh, it's nice and solid it's not moving and then this one this bell is aimed this way it's really hard to see but I kind of figured that would be the smartest way to do it since they don't they're too big to point straight like the old ones unlike the old ones which were smaller so we're all done and now uh, I guess uh, everything's hooked up. I guess I will demonstrate what they sound like. Now keep in mind, you know, the hood's open, so you're really gonna hear them full volume, so it's probably gonna sound louder anyway than the uh, original horns. But here is what these things sound like. Yeah. <laughs> now that screams classic Challenger to me. I love the sound. Definitely has a deep uh, throaty tone to it. Well, I sound like I'm talking about an exhaust system, but that is a great sounding horn. And uh, I cannot wait to uh, show that off to people on the road who uh, decide to cut me off or anything like that. So one more upgrade done to my Challenger Scat Pack. All of you saw my video of the uh, strut tower bar, which is awesome. I am loving that. Uh, not only the way it looks every time I open the hood, uh, which is quite frequently, <laughs> but also to, uh, not in a bad way, not to fix the car, just so I can, you know, look at under here and look at my uh, shaker and everything. But from a handling standpoint, I mean, it's great. It really did make a big difference. So I'm very, very happy. So that's yet another uh, modification, so to speak, to the Challenger. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos because there are plenty more to come of this car. Take care, everybody.